So um, the first thing I want to introduce to you is, is a concept of what the cloud actually is. Um, the simplest way to say it and the, the say was what we've done previously is to say the cloud is just someone else's computer. Um, that gives you the base idea. I mean, you're using someone else's hardware. They've set up and you contact it remotely. Um, it's a little more complicated than that because there are a number of levels at which that cloud can provide services to you. So um, at a minimum, the Pauzi's Nimbus cloud is infrastructure as a service. That is, we provide you with the computers, we provide you with the storage, and we provide you with the access. And then it's your responsibility um, to do with that compute and storage as you will. So you have essentially full slather on what you install, uh, what you run, who you make it available to. Um, so there's a lot of power there, but there's also a lot of responsibility. You need to essentially administer everything. Um, and not only that, you uh, need to be able to administer your project. You apply to Nimbus for an allocation, um, which will grant you a certain you know, quota for the number of virtual machines, the amount of compute, the amount of memory, the amount of storage. So you'll have that sitting there in your project and you are the administrator for that project. Okay, So it's not just that you have your laptop and the university set everything up for you and you just run your, your you know, you write your, your Python code and it runs it on the data and you get your results. You have to actually create an instance, which I should mention that, that's another reason these are some terms here that we use that are important. Instance is the term that's used for a virtual machine. In other words, one of our machines that you're using a software created machine. OpenStack, which is the software program we use to run and manage all of these virtual machines, refers to it as an instance. So to prevent confusion, we will try to consistently refer to it as an instance. But if you hear instance, you can read virtual machine or VM. Okay. Um, so if, if you create an instance, it's essentially just a, a raw operating system. So you have to uh, install all the software you need. You have to be able to configure it. If you want to be able, to, if you want to use it as a, a web server, you have to be able to set that up. Okay. So that's infrastructure as a service. We essentially just give you access to this um, infrastructure. Um, <clears throat> obviously, the, the some of the key uh, strengths of this is that. Um, it's flexible, okay? You can apply at any time, it's free. You can apply to have it for, you know, a week uh, if you wish, if you've got a paper due and you need to do a lot of analysis and, and your local machine or the university isn't hacking it and you just need a temporary increase in storage or compute, then you can apply to Nimbus, get it for a month, set it up, run it, and then you can be done with it and you can just close off your allocation. You don't have to use it anymore. Um, there are other benefits. Um, <clears throat> essentially, it's very flexible. You're, you're working with virtual machines, so they're um, kind, of, kind of a software. They're an abstract on our server. So as long as you maintain data integrity, if you, if you use best practices, so you always back up your data to somewhere else, um, if you're always conscious of your software, so if you're using GitHub or something so that you're not just writing one lot of code on your instance and if you lose it, then you've lost you know, six months worth of work. As long as you do that, then you can be very flexible uh, with your uh, Nimbus instances because you can simply delete them if something goes wrong and replace them very quickly, which is what you'll learn to do today. Okay, so um, you'll see in the picture that here is the kind of the, the visual depiction of, of how the cloud works. You sit at your desk and you log in remotely using key pairs, and we'll discuss key pairs in a later episode, uh, through the internet, 
and that gives you access to your project on Nimbus, which includes compute and storage. <coughs> um, and the amount is based on the allocation you get when you first applied. That allocation isn't static. If you find that um, you don't have enough storage or you haven't got enough compute, then you can simply contact us and say, I need more storage for this reason. And uh, as long as it's reasonable, then we will supply it for you. Okay, so um, the nature of cloud leads to kind of two roles as I discussed. One is managing your project on Nimbus. So the allocation, the creation, deletion, um, and management of instances. And the other role is the more typical role of actually doing your work on the machine, you know, installing software, writing code, moving data around. And those two roles are done in two different manners. Um, you connect to your virtual machines, your instances, via a secure shell, so SSH. Yeah. You manage your allocation and your project via a web interface, which is called the dashboard. 